Hello, hello, what's on your movie madman and I'm back. And today's Wednesday, so today we're digging into the MCU again. As you know, there won't be too many more of these now. I don't think we're getting to the end of that, which you'll probably be quite happy to hear. Uh, but today we're talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in 4K. So here we are then, one of the Marvel movies that I know a little bit more than three minutes worth of material about, so that'll be a little bit exciting for you guys, I hope. I've got this in 4K, there's also a Blu-ray in here as well. I'll show you the back cover, because I'm nice like that. Uh, I don't know if I showed you before, but it comes in this box that I got, Guardians 1 and 2. Uh, obviously the first one's in there, but you've already seen that. I don't know if I showed you that when I showed you the first one, but you can see it again, can't you? There you go. It's exciting, isn't it? Uh, obviously I didn't get the box set of one to three because I already had the first two. So I just got the first two and then I got the third one separately, as you know, because I showed you that last week. But uh, I can show you the discs. So uh, got a nice bit of original artwork on the 4k disc there and then got a nice bit of original artwork there I mean I don't know where they got that from but so um, I've seen this uh, I've seen this in 4k I've seen this on blu-ray I've also seen this on Disney Plus I've also seen a special IMAX digital file of it as well which is quite exciting too so there's so many so many little comparisons for you there uh, so Guardians 2, eh? Uh, well, here we go then. Uh, this is probably, I think this was the first one of about three Marvel movies to actually make me cry. Because, you know, it's a little bit sad, isn't it? At the end, it gets a bit sad. If you haven't seen it, I won't, I won't tell you why it's a bit sad, but it is a bit sad at the end. Okay, so uh, do approach it with, with some tissues. Probably a good idea, especially if you're extra sensitive like I am. Uh, so... If you're looking at the comparison between the 4K disc and the Blu-ray, uh, there's not really there's not really much competition to go with there. The 4K disc looks so much better than the Blu-ray, but I mean that wasn't that wasn't that difficult. To be fair, it was quite easy for the 4K disc to look better than the Blu-ray. So there's that. Uh, if you're comparing this to Disney Plus, this is one of the this is one of the films that has IMAX sequences in it as well, so you can compare it to that. Uh, so from that perspective, Disney Plus wins a little bit because it's got the IMAX sequences in it, whereas the 4K disc doesn't, and neither the, does the Blu-ray either, just in case you're wondering. The Blu-ray doesn't have IMAX bits in it either. In fact, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that every, every single Marvel Blu-ray doesn't have IMAX sequences which is a bit sad they missed a uh, missed a little trick with that they could have taken a step out of Mr Nolan's books and put put their 4k fuck they could have taken a little step out of Mr Nolan's books and you know put their IMAX sequences on the 4k disc but they didn't do that because obviously they're a bit rude or maybe they just thought oh we'll put them on Disney plus that'll get people to subscribe to Disney plus won't it it worked, to be fair, it did work. It does look better on Disney Plus, I'll give you that. Uh, I do have a digital file of this as well, which has the IMAX sequences included in it as well. But it also it also has the frame breaking shots as well. If you don't know what frame breaking is, it's when you've got black lines at the top and the bottom, and then the image goes over those lines. There's a lot of that in Ghostbusters 2016, but we're not allowed to talk about that film because people will start hating me. But yeah, I mean, in this, in the first Guardians, you get it as well. Images go over, over those black bars. It's really, really cool to look at. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people don't like frame breaking stuff. They think it's a bit shocking and awful, but I love a bit of frame breaking stuff myself. When I first saw, I think it was the first Fantastic Beasts in the cinema, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. If you watch that in IMAX 3D in the cinema, there's literally like creatures that come out of the screen and jump over the bars on purpose and like walk around and stuff like that. And it's absolutely mental to look at. 
I think it's really cool but you know there are some people that are just like oh why is that like jumping over the bar that just looks really stupid and you're just like shut up all right just because you didn't film it all in all though I really I really like Guardians too I mean I really liked the first one so I went into this one with very high expectations when I first saw it and it met them all it's still just as funny as the first one there's just as much action in there as there is in the first one there's also obviously sad moments as well which you didn't get in the first one so if anything don't hold it against me but I might go as far as to say the second one's better yeah didn't see that coming did you it's very rare that sequels are better than the original James Cameron's quite good at making good sequels and apparently James Gunn is quite good at it as well maybe it's a James thing eh? do you know any other directors called James that make good sequels yeah leave a little comment if you do hey eh? comment so that was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 for you. The video was longer than two and a half minutes for you as well. So that was that was quite exciting all round, wasn't it? Yeah, I hope it was. Anyway, um, obviously I don't really need to tell you much about the story and stuff like that because you've already seen it. And if you haven't seen it by now, it's probably because you're not interested in it. But yeah, that's it from me. I'm going to go now. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'm gonna fuck off okay goodbye